high school, what's going on? It's Mr. L again, or LB for as some of you call me. Today we're going to be talking about an open-ended question. Now, if you remember way back when, hopefully you'll remember some of the tips that we've gone over. Do you think you remember any of them? You're probably sitting down eating lunch right now, but let's go over them. First one is you always want to read the question carefully. We want to remember units, maybe draw a picture if we have to, and we also want to take our time. The new kind of tip that we've come up with is using the calculator as an efficient, effective method in order to do the mathematics as quickly as possible in order to save time. So let's look at this question. Let's read through. Best Buy is selling a computer for $1,250 and Circuit City is selling the same computer for $1,175. Broken up into three points. Each bullet, remember, is worth how many points? One point each out for a total of three. If Best Buy is having a sale of 25% off, how much will the computer cost? So let's start with our bullet A. Well, anytime we deal with percents, what have we kind of talked about you know, on these videos or in your math class, you always want to make sure that you walk with your percent. There's one key operation you need to do in order to figure out a percent. You guys guess what it is? Multiplication. All right? But, like someone just said, you need to multiply, you need to convert your percent into a decimal. Well, 25% as a decimal is 0.25. And since we're talking about Best Buy, we're going to multiply it by $1,250. All right, so using our calculator. 1250 times 0.25, we get $312.50. Now, is this our cost, yes or no? Correct answer is no. Why? Well, the reason being is, is I just found 25% of my computer. They want to know how much does the computer cost after a 25% discount. So what operation do I have to apply the 31250 and the 1250? Subtraction. We would take $1,250, we would subtract 31250, we get $937.50. Remember to label. Circle that answer. This way when the, you know, whoever is grading the HESPA, whether it's a math teacher or a math supervisor, they know automatically where to go for your answer. So now part B states, if Circuit City is having 15% off, how much will the same computer cost? Well, Circuit City sells the computer for $1,175. This is a, a, a situation that happens quite often. Sears, Circuit City, Best Buy, Target, or Target, as some of you call it, all right? They'll have a, uh, an item for X amount of dollars and they'll vary the percent. And it's just a way to get into your head and think you're saving a little more money than you really are. So let's see what happens in this instance. So we're talking about 15%. Remember, as we stated in Part A, you need to write your percent as a decimal. If you do not, you will not get the correct answer. And the computer is costing $1,175. So figuring out 15% of 1075 you get $176.25. Now in this instance, remember as we said previously in part A, this is how much you're saving. It's not the actual cost. We need to subtract it from our original cost. And we get $998.75. Now a lot of people would think, hey, the computer's you know, $75 cheaper and I'm saving 15%. It has to be cheaper. Well, in this instance, it's not. The Best Buy, which is actually our part C, which store has the better deal, Best Buy does. And the question also states why. Well, Best Buy does is because look how much more money you're saving. You're saving, well, let's figure it out, minus 937.50. You're saving 61.25. It is $61.25 uh, cheaper. But for those of you that drive, that might be a tank of gas, maybe one and a half, especially with how much gas is going up. So this is a great deal of money, right? So the next time you go out shopping, you know, whether it's birthday, whatever the holiday or occasion may be, is make sure you take this into account. And you don't need to carry around this in your pocketbook or gentleman in your wallet. You got your cell phone. You can always use your cell phone to, uh, to check it out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a real practical application that you will definitely most likely see in the Hesper. And I hope you enjoy it. See you next week.